Today we're going to meet a new style by Wig Pro. It's called Olivia. I have Olivia in two colors. One we're going to do a live unboxing coming up. So this is Olivia. Olivia is a mid-length layered bob style. It's very modern and chic with all of these razored layers. And it has a little bit of elements of a shag cut with some fringe. The featured wig styles were sent to me by Wig Pro in cooperation with Wig Studio One. Drop below the video, expand the description box. There will be product links there where you can go right out to this particular style and investigate all of the colors and the pricing. We invite you to shop at Wig Studio One. If you have any questions for us, please reach out to support at wigstudioone.com and don't forget to join us on Facebook and Instagram. But let's first talk about the first color that I'm gonna show you today, and that is the Nine Tones. I have explored the Nine Tones before. I think it's absolutely beautiful. So the Nine Tones is a combination of some browns and some blondes. There's a lot going into this mix. It is not rooted. Um, and I feel like it is more of a neutral, leaning warm in terms of its tone. So the first color that you're gonna see in the base color, I think is just kind of a neutral brown, a, a light neutral brown. It's not too warm. I don't feel like it's too golden. And then there are some more golden browns mixed in there, all of which are more of the, on the lighter brunette side. And then all the highlighting you see here is mostly done by the blondes. And those blondes are just gonna be a combination of some gold blondes, which are more of a light gold blonde, and then a pale, maybe a more neutral blonde mixed in there as well. There are some chunkier spots in there, which kind of add to this dynamic look. So this cut, what a modern razor bob. It has some fringe to it. In the front, we're looking at about a four, four and a half to five and a half inch fringe. So what I'm seeing here is that that first layer is about four and a half, and you guessed it, that's the exact length that goes right into my eyes. <laughs> so I would have to pin them back. Um, now, if, I feel like there might be a little bit of box hair going on. This is just directly out of the box yesterday. Um, I can comb it away from the face to kind of keep those bangs up out of the eyes. But I really like the razored look. And therefore, you can wear them down if you like as well. There's a little bit of a cowlick or contour. Again, that might just be box hair. We're going to find out when we unbox the second piece. But isn't it pretty? So back to the bangs, the four and a half to five. Um, that's exactly what it is. So that first one at four and a half and then five inches is the last layer. And then it abruptly goes into the side. So it's not razor or it's not layered all the way through. It just feels like those bangs are kind of isolated there, the fringe. And I think that just adds to this chunky, irregular look of the layering. Overall, it's gonna run right around 13 to 14 inches. And it weighs right around three ounces. And there are some shag elements to it. So you see these side layers here. They kind of have a forward movement, um, but it's not a big bob, okay? It's very slim, form-fitting. It has a lighter density, a really nice light density, in fact. These, each of these fibers is just a silky, feathery light, fine, dry fiber, okay? Um, it is not a heat-friendly fiber. Now, I don't know a lot about the Bally collection in the Wig Pro line. Uh, this is my first Bally uh, collection style that I'm presenting. I also have another one coming up, so we're gonna take a look to see if a pattern emerges with this line. Um, so again, I don't, I don't think there's any unique qualities to this line other than maybe just some modern looks. We'll have to see. Now this piece has a lace front, left monofilament, side part assembly. It goes temple to temple. The lace front's impeccable, guys. Um, they bring the highlight right up to the lace front. Each one of the, the knots are very fine. That's my widow's peak there. 
and that moves back into a left monofilament side part that goes nearly back to the top crown there, behind crown. I think the seams are really well done on this piece. It has a very beautiful, nice natural look from the front. And I think you're gonna to wanna to take advantage of that, especially if like, like, like in, in my case, where the bangs are just the right length to get in the eyes, I'm gonna to wanna to take advantage, I think, of moving it away from the face. So this just is ultra modern, ultra chic. I think this layering is just so cool. I just haven't seen quite like that before. It's got a nice razor point cut. It almost gives the illusion there's an angle, but it really is about the same length all the way around. Straight style, very lightweight. Thinking of permatease, there's barely any permatease on this. I can't, I can't sense any palpable permatease here. Um, you know, there may be just a small thin base layer of permatease around that monofilament, um, but nothing pillowy or thick. And again, when we unbox our second piece, I'm gonna go through that again, just to make sure that they are consistent. So let's talk about our second piece. Here's our second piece, and this is the packaging. So this is still Wig Pro, um, but it is the Bally Collection. You can see there Olivia in the color Rocky Road. And it'll be interesting to compare the Rocky Road to this nine tones, each of them being a base brunette color, but this one I think is gonna be a little bit deep, of a deeper brunette, okay? So let's unpack it. Thick tissue paper there, really thick. I guess that's the way it goes, right there. Okay. It has nice cardboard forms. They always do a good job packaging and protecting the wig. I like their packaging a lot. All right, removing the net. It's tightly compressed there, as you can tell. And sometimes what happens is, especially because it's really cold outside and if the wig is on the doorstep or something for a while, you can get these bends, these little buckles right alongside the crown there uh, where it was situated in the box. So you just have to uh, douse it with water really well, hang it upside down, pick at it, fluff it, and just work it out. Generally, that's all it takes. So there's the hang tag. And I'm gonna go ahead and remove that so that we can apply this after I show you the inside of the cab. Okay, so my, my observation so far is that it's that same fine, silky, feathery-like fiber and this will give you an idea of those ends, how razored and textured they are on the ends. Color is beautiful. And definitely I do see some little buckles there on the side. So this is definitely gonna be, I'm gonna have to take some time to work that out eventually. So just keep all of that in mind. Turn it, turning it inside out to look at this cap. Okay. So there is that lace front, temple to temple. Now it does not extend back into the ear tab, um, but it does wrap around that seam. So I really like it when they do that rather than ending it abruptly. It covers the seams a whole lot better. Okay. Um, the material that they use is a medium grade monofilament lace. Then the, uh, the grid is fairly fine here. Um, but it is a little bit uh, rough, okay? Not shiny. And then lots of wefting. We have a closed velvet ear tab, long sturdy stays, an extended felted nape with Velcro style adjusters. I love it. I love their caps. I think they do an amazing job with their caps. They give us all the features that we love and it doesn't, uh, it's not so beefy that it feels like you've got a helmet on. It's a very lightweight, ultra lightweight cap. Okay, so here's my usual shake, shake, shake. 
And then I'm gonna get um, I'm gonna get a brush real quick so we can work on that part. And then I just like to go over the whole wig with a little bit of a brushwork comb, just gently stretching the fiber out away from the cap, only coming out a couple of inches. That'll just wake up the natural movement. Okay, there's that part. So it's easy to wake up that part, it's, it appears. Very fine, fine fibers there. A medium brown, a medium chestnut brown. It's very soft. It doesn't have any hints of red or gold. It's kind of neutral in my opinion. And then on this particular piece, it appears that there's more of a chunky gold blonde highlight. This is not a rooted color. So let's back up on it here. So there's some finely blended highlights in there as well as the chunkier pieces up near the crown and the front. Now this piece is, it runs retail as of the date of this filming around $200. At Wig Studio One, you get an automatic 30% off of all Wig Pro styles. So that's going to bring it down to around $140. Okay, so I'm going to take off the nine tones and apply the Rocky Road. So let me remark, uh, first of all, at the fit. The fit is completely average. So I feel like this is going to accommodate a lot of circumferences. Um, I'm at 21 and a quarter inch circumference. I cinched it in just a tad as I normally do. Um, I get a nice secure fit without any baggy cap and so forth. Now, I feel like there's a decent amount of stretch here and the fact that you can get an extra half inch or so with the, um, the strap adjusters, I'm thinking 22 and a half would also be accommodated. So anywhere from my circumference of 21 and a quarter up through 22 and a half, which lies perfectly average. Pretty consistent, right? So this one doesn't have a, too much of a, well, it does if you, if you work it, I think you're gonna be able to get a contour right off of that lace front. Um, but it, it all together lays a little better than the other one. Um, but again, I feel like there might be some little buckles there for uh, box hair, which will work out eventually. So hard for me to see in the camera. <laughs> it's just, it's just darn near impossible. Okay, wow. So bringing your attention again to this face framing razored bob. So we've got the, the bang at four and a half to five and then it abruptly goes into the other uh, layering from the sides that will carry around the face. I think this would be really great length and layers for any kind of face shape. I just think it's universally flattering. Let's take a look at this lace front while we're up here. Again, wow, it just seems really impeccably done here. They do bring the lay, the, the um, highlight right up to that lace. In terms of the monofilament, um, I can't really see into the camera to know if you can see down through, but this density is a very light, wispy density. So my feeling is you should be able to see through to the illusion of scalp. Now, sometimes on darker colors, if you have darker bio hair underneath, you're really not gonna see the illusion of scalps. So you may have to wear like a light colored wig liner or something, um, or put some tape or something, some of that, um, what do they use? The sports tape or something underneath the, um, the monofilament there just to give you a nice illusion of scalp. Lots of stuff you can do to enhance that illusion because that's why you buy lace, right? For that illusion. So now I'll put up a side-by-side, -side, both indoor and outdoor light. So you can give a good look to each of these colors as they're side-by-side. -side. Then we're gonna do some styling.
So styling for this one ought to be a breeze. It's beautiful right out of the box, but I think I would probably work with these bangs to get them exactly where I want them. Um, ear tucks are going to be amazing because it's such a low light density. It's a kind of a head hugging style, all of the focus on this amazing modern layering. So I'm gonna show you both styles in the styling segment. Here is glasses, as I suspected. The glasses fit beautifully between the ear and the ear tab, so this definitely is a glasses-friendly wig style. 